In this lesson, we're gonna learn about Eloquent API Resources. As the name suggests, Eloquent API Resources is useful when you're building APIs. So it's basically a mechanism to transform our Eloquent model into JSON responses. It acts as a transformation layer that sits between our Eloquent models and the JSON responses that are actually returned to our application's users. Now, before we generate any resource class, Let's open up our roots definition in WebPHP. Then here, in products root, instead of assigning a static data in array, let's replace it with product order by name and end with get method call. Don't forget to import the model namespace. Then, instead of returning a view, we're gonna return a JSON response. So, let's replace this with products. Let's give this a save. If we enter the root in the browser, Here we get back a list of products in JSON. But notice here that all columns will get displayed in this response. Probably this is not a big deal since we only have several columns in our table. But as our application grows, we may add other columns to the table and we may don't want a certain columns to be exposed. Or we may want to add additional of metadata to our response such as pagination or something else. That's where all the Quant API resource come into play. We firstly need to generate a resource class. So let's go to our terminal. Then type PSP artisan make research product research. Now let's open the product research we can find it in app http resources folder. The class is extended from JSON resource. And inside the class, we'll find one method called toArray. Inside the method, it return parent toArray request. If we leave things as it is, then all visible model attributes will be part of our response. So let's replace this with array. Then specify the attributes they want to be visible in our JSON response. ID, arrow. Here we can magically access the model properties directly using this variable. So this ID. Let's duplicate this and change to name and price. Right, let's switch to our roots. Then here, we'll wrap this with product research colon colon collection. Don't forget to import the class namespace. Okay, let's give this a save. Back to the browser. Give that a refresh. Now our JSON response look a bit different. First, all products are wrapped inside data and it's record now contains ID, name, and price, as we've defined in toArray method. Now here, we can also include the related resource in our JSON response. If we take a look at product model, here we've defined this category relationship. So here we can include the category 
like so category this category if we save this back to the browser and refresh now we have category added in each product resource however all attributes inside the category model will be visible here if we only want to show id and name attributes we can create another resource similar to what we did with product so back to our terminal then type php artisan make research category research let's open that file then specify the attributes who want to be exposed in json response in this case id and name and now inside product research since this will return a model instance not a collection here we'll instantiate the category research then put this category in let's keep this safe reload okay now category only contains id and name let's go to our roots and here we no longer need this root definition for our api now let's modify this root to return json response instead of view response firstly let's actually find the product with product id that taken from the root parameter then reassign to the product variable itself after that we'll transform the product instance into json response by making use the product resource return new product research and pass in the product give it a save back to the browser then access products one okay here i get a product in this one response now if i try entering product id which does not exist in the table here I get unwanted error trying to get property ID of an object to fix this we need to replace this find with find or fail if we now reload the page Here we get the 404 error page, which is the better error message when a resource not found in our database. Another way, which is less typing, is to remove this. Then type in this argument with our model, product in this case. So this is something called route model binding. If we save this, reload the page we get the exact same thing if I enter existing product ID I get the JSON response all right before we end this video let's also modify this category root we're gonna load categories from our database and return as JSON response let's firstly get all categories Then assign into a variable. Then, since we are gonna return a collection of data, here we can say return category research collection categories. Don't forget to import the namespace. 
All right, let's keep this safe. Back to the browser, then access categories. Oops, category not found. Import, save, reload a page. All right, here we get back all categories in this one response. Okay, that's it for now. If you want to learn more about Eloquent API resources, you can check out this link.